I think it's important for you to see what can happen when things don't go exactly as planned. What I'm going to do here is set up a little demonstration and um, put something down that's really enticing, in this case a treat on the ground, and ask Ellie to come to me. Ellie, come! She didn't do it. So what you're looking for is a cue and then a response by your dog that's pretty close together. Generally what I like to do is within two seconds I like to get that response. So keep in mind if you ask for something and it doesn't happen you just need to provide more help and I'll show you what that looks like. Ellie come! Yay! Good girl! Oh my goodness! Look at that tail! Oh my goodness! You can also run the other way like this. Ellie come! Good girl, good girl, good girl. What a good girl, buddy. Oh my goodness. So when you're working on behaviors, think about what the behavior is that you're finally looking for and help it happen. So in this case, using my body helped her follow me. And that's what I'm talking about when I say come. Ellie, come. Good girl. Ellie, come. Good job. That was so good. That was amazing. After just a few repetitions, in this case, she's kind of used to the distractions out here, she did it. If she would have needed more help, I would have tapped the ground, I would have ran the other way, I would have piled on any help that she needed at that time to make the behavior happen and help her get it right. And then what happens is you just take the helpers away one by one until you're just left with the cue, which in this case is the word, come. Ellie, come. Good. That time the help, was just a little bit of noise with my mouth. I just made a little bit of noise. I went, and she came to me. Let's see if I can get it just with the cue. Ellie, come. Yay. Good girl. 